One of the most heart-wrenching events of 2009 was when John Travolta's son, Jet, died. Two men are now accused of trying to extort millions from the actor just days after his son's death. CBS News correspondent Kelly Cobillea is in the Bahamas this morning where the trial is getting underway. Good morning, Kelly. Maggie, good morning. Opening statements are set to begin this morning uh, in front of a jury of six women and three men. Now, experts say this case hinges on the testimony of John Travolta. He is reportedly here, uh, according to People magazine, staying in an exclusive gated community and is prepared to testify today. A local politician and a paramedic have pleaded not guilty. But prosecutors say Pleasant Bridgewater and Torino Lightbourne demanded $25 million from John Travolta and threatened to go public with a document related to the emergency care of his son. Attorneys say Travolta's testimony is key. He's got to take the stand and tell the jury what it felt like when he received that demand, how upset and how disturbed he was. Nobody else can do that for him. 16-year-old Jet Travolta died in January after suffering a seizure at the family's vacation home in the Bahamas. The ambulance driver told Inside Edition that both parents were emotional as they rode with their son to the hospital. He was crying, eyes red. I remember him looking up at the ceiling and saying, God, please help me. Trial evidence may include recorded conversations with the two defendants. There were negotiations, they were tape recorded, they have a record of what went on. So they have tried to create this sort of paper and tape recording trail to nail these people. His testimony at trial would be the first time Travolta has talked publicly about the tragedy. He has canceled interviews for his films, is rarely spotted out. Earlier this month, he, his wife, actress Kelly Preston, and their daughter Ella appeared at a photo op to promote a film they made together. The John Travolta sparkle is gone. That, that spark, that, that star power is gone. You're looking at a man who is grieving. Legal experts say this is an odd case because there is no smoking gun or photo involved in the extortion. Instead, the document in question is a routine waiver uh, that clears ambulance workers of liability if the Travoltas had refused to allow Jet to be taken to the hospital. As we know, that didn't happen. Jet was taken by ambulance and his parents rode with him, so that document never even came into play. John Travolta is one of 14 potential prosecution witnesses. Maggie? CBS's Kelly Cobiella in the Bahamas. Thank you, Kelly. Of course, we will keep following that trial for you.